I have spent the last year in Bhakti Academy, a spiritual community in Toronto, and then spent two weeks in an unknown city alone where I got to reflect on the past year. I then visited a friend before moving to the US where I am now. Here is Krishna House. The concept is similar to the community I was in back in Toronto. We've got a few houses and a bunch of people and we all practice back to yoga together. Here's me just awkwardly showing you around the property. This is the kitchen. And this is where Nanda uh, is cooking for us every morning. There are also other devotees who cook or help in cooking. This kitchen is the Bhakti House kitchen, which is mostly used for breakfast. And here is the side porch where we have breakfast and also one of our hangout spots. It's been really nice to eat and hang out outside every day. The main activity here is Krishna lunch. We go out at the nearby university campus and distribute spiritual food, food that has been offered to Krishna or divinity. And this is the temple room where we meditate, sing and dance as part of our spiritual practice. The way things are arranged here is very nice. We've got maybe five houses or so, all beside one another. And so we've got different houses for the ladies, for the men, and different one for the temple. Walking around the property really gives me a community-like feeling. Now this is the library, a common area where I spend most of my time. It's in the same building as the kitchen I showed earlier, as well as my room. In Toronto, I would work, study, chill, sleep, and hang out all in the same room. But I'm really liking having a nice place to work and study, which is not where my bed also is. Krishna House here offers a lot of diversity in many ways. Here's my room, and I'm rarely in it. I sleep here and worship my deities here. But mostly in my free time, I'm in the library, working or studying. The room is really nice though. It's big and there's a lot of light. So when it comes to the healing process I've been going through, uh, I haven't had that much time to like reflect. Maybe I could have, but I haven't been taking the time that much. Uh, to be honest, I feel like what I need now is not that much to be alone because I've already took the time to be alone. Uh, not that I don't need to be alone ever. <laughs> I do have to be alone sometimes, but what I mean is that at the present moment, what I need is mostly engagement. Um, I've been engaged a lot in my spiritual practices here uh, in Krishna House, and it's been helping me taking my mind off uh, repetitive thoughts that are kind of keeping me stuck. I have noticed that because over the past year, I felt uh, like I couldn't necessarily be fully myself and I felt rejected and there were a lot of communication issues in my relationships and I ended up feeling uh, betrayed, not just by others, but also by myself. Um, now I'm having a hard time being authentic with others and. I try to cover up a lot of what I'm actually thinking, of what I'm actually feeling. 
Right now, I'm kind of a little bit in the unknown. I feel like the more I advance on my journey, uh, the more my healing will just naturally happen. I'm just trying to be a better person. Uh, I can see negative patterns that I used to do, which created bad results in my relationship, uh, being uh, present in my heart and in my mind, and I'm kind of trying to act differently, so to not create the same results that I did before. So right now I'm really just getting an opportunity to better myself and evolve. And I think this is kind of my healing process at the moment. Being away from everything that has been triggering me over the last year uh, is helping. But also I don't want to ignore it because I know that there's still woundings in my heart and I do want them to be addressed and healed. And so I pray, uh, which allows me to open my heart to God, which makes it, which makes me um, acknowledge how I'm feeling and what I'm going through internally. Right now, I feel like I'm kind of on a small journey of rediscovering myself and reconnecting with myself. And I don't quite know like where I'm going when it comes to my emotional path, but I guess I'm kind of slowly figuring it out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and I love you.